American church was very much uh, gifted with a lot of sisters who changed uh, our situation for the good in powerful ways, in hospitals, in nursing homes, in uh, schools, and colleges, and high schools, and in parishes. But I had a lot of experience as a priest with sisters, and I always found them a great blessing in my life. After I became a priest, of course, I was involved with sisters a lot because we shared ministry together, and we were always kind of a teaming together, doing whatever we were doing, and they were involved in every part of parish life. We are so honored to be the recipients of the rich legacy of religious life in this country. God's providence surprised us when, on the feast of St. Rose of Lima, we were entrusted with the Poor Clare Monastery in Bloomington, where the Poor Clares have served for 64 years. This convent is really a blessing for us because it represents a call from the Sacred Heart of Jesus to continue making His love radiate. Religious is called to love God in a unique way. She becomes an ambassador of God's love to the world. As a sister, I am sent out to be the hands and feet of Christ. I feel so unworthy to be a part of the life of God's people and to be a spiritual mother touching the heart of His children. I met the Sisters of Proclesia Sancta first while I was in college. The sisters help me to see how much God loves me and that I can respond generously to His love through my vocation. And for me, that's my vocation to religious life. The Lord has called me to be His and only His, and I can be generous to Him by being faithful to His will. touched by God's love by the people around us. Uh, prayer is important and spending much prayer is important, but then it's got to show. And the sisters are committed to personal prayer in a way that Christ touches their lives. But then we are touched by them and they touch the world and we experience the presence of God, the person of Jesus, in their smile, in their gentleness, in their kindness, in their help, helpfulness, that all becomes real and it touches the world. The Sacred Heart of Jesus sends us to share His passionate love with every one of the families we encounter. We want to help women to become like Mary, good wives and mothers, and to invite men to become strong and loving fathers like Joseph. And we want to journey with children and youth as they grow. It's amazing to see what can happen in the life of a family when they are reminded that Jesus is truly present in every moment of their lives and that He is the only one who can give them true peace and strength. I have seen families transformed when they have decided to respond to their call to holiness. Um, the sisters were so warm and loving uh, to us and invited the kids to play for a little bit while they just shared a little bit of their a, bit, a little bit of their life with us. Um, and I remember after hearing about um, why they are serving this community, why Improcles Sancta um, lives to, to, to serve the church and inspire people to holiness, I found myself saying um, to them and to Alicia, "Wow, I want to be a sister." And uh, even though it's kind of funny and I can't be a sister, um, it, it made me want to be a saint and to try and live a life like they're trying to live. Um, being around religious sisters inspires us to keep uh, trying to attain that type of union with God in our own lives, um, inspiring our children at no matter what stage you're in, uh, to have that same kind of relationship with Him. 
Um, and just as they serve us and serve Jesus, every encounter with them is kind of like this additional call um, to go and serve Jesus um, totally. We want the Sacred Heart of Jesus to be more loved. This is why we dream of having so many sisters in this convent that would love Christ with their whole hearts. As our founder and visionary communities, we pray that this convent could be a living furnace of charity. From this convent, we want to reiterate God's love to the whole church. As Jesus said, Look at this heart which has so loved men. See the infinite treasures of graces that are waiting to be put out upon you. The Sacred Heart of Jesus is ready to embrace you and your family. Everything that you're longing for is there in His heart. <laughs>